Think. But this is what it's all about. There it is. There is the trophy, the World Cup trophy, which will be held aloft by one of the two teams later on today. And what a huge clash we've got for you. Australia versus India coming to you from the ball ring in Johannesburg. It's a stadium that holds 30,000 people and it has been sold out for months. One of the great cricket theatres of the world and lots of Australian spectators have already packed in here, as have the Indian spectators. Of course, extra uh, flights have come across from India and a little bit of entertainment just to kick things off. Here in uh, a sun-drenched morning, which is nice to see, a bit of rain overnight, a bit of rain over the last couple of days, but at the moment things are looking pretty good. And everyone is ready for a terrific encounter between these two outstanding sides who have both been in very, very good form. Traditional dancing, which we've seen at uh, the semi-finals as well. Nice to see them also here uh, at the big final. And we'll get uh, a bit of buzz going for the big event here. Everyone has been waiting this final for a long, long time. Keep pointing the Australian captain, Saurabh Ganguly, the Indian captain, and of course our match referee, Ranjan Madugali. Saurabh, I think you have the coin. Heads, Heads is the call. Heads. It is tails. Saurabh, you have won the toss. What will you be doing? We'll have a ball. Why is that? Because it's, it's a bit damp. Uh, it's been a lot of rain in the morning. Uh, we'll have a go at this first. We'll bowl first. So you're hoping that their fast bowlers will get a bit of purchase on the surface and you'll get a couple of early wickets? I definitely think so. If they can put the ball in the right place, the way they've bowled, uh, we'll definitely get some purchase on it. You haven't had any injury problems, sir. As a matter of fact, you have had 12 players playing throughout the tournament. Any changes today? No, we're going with the same side. The boys have been fit uh, and it's good to see that, that we've survived the whole tour without any injury problem. Okay, Sarab, it's a big one. Good luck. Thanks, Michael. Ricky, would you have done anything different? No, I would have had a bat, actually. Um, it's always nice to bat in, in big games and in finals, I think. So, uh, yeah, we would have had a bat. It seems as if there's just a touch of moisture there. You're not worried about that? No, we played on a uh, wicket very similar to this against Pakistan, I think, early in the tournament. We managed to uh, get through the tough periods there and post the big first innings and then uh, able to defend that. So that's what we're having to do today. Yeah, I've had a few hiccups along the way. You certainly don't want one today. No, we don't want the hiccups today. Uh, obviously a big game and a final, but um, we're just approaching it the same way as any other game. You have had a few injury problems as well. Have you been able to select from your full squad today? Yeah, we have. Everyone's come up uh, fit. Damien Martin's back into the side today for, for Ian Harvey. So, um, yeah, we're hoping that he can perform well as he has done for most of the tournament. OK, Ricky, good luck. Thanks, mate. Well, that's the situation down here. Just, you don't want your top order to face the Australian bowling, then it's a defensive decision. You get the feeling that... Saurav Ganguly thinks there's going to be something in this pitch and there may be a bit of a swing. Well, here's Khan, and he's bowling to Gilchrist. Ooh, and there was certainness in the way swing there. A no ball called by umpire David Shepard. Two, two extremely experienced umpires out in the middle. David Shepard. He's at the bowler's end at the moment. And at square leg, you've got Steve Buckner. Plenty of experience between those two. Yeah, the two best umpires and two most experienced umpires in this uh, World Cup and in the circuit. And they've had a good tournament. We talk about cricketers being in form. These two, Shepard and Buckner, have been in excellent form in this tournament. Oh, was there a nick there? No. It's a flash from Gilchrist. He'll, that's the way he plays. He'll play his shot right from the word go. Adam Gilchrist sees a bit of width and he goes at it. All the Australians will realise that this is a different side from the one they played at the Centurion. It's a lot more uh, confident and certainly more aggressive. Zahir Khan on the follow-through. Continue to glare at the batsman. You don't see too many Indian bowlers doing this. There was a clear message there to Gilchrist that this is a different team. He's clubbed that down the leg side. To get at least two here. And also there's a fumble down there. <laughs> well, there's plenty of nerves out there. You can see it from the bowler. You can see it in the field. Javagal Srinath, one of the most senior men in the Indian side. Also a no ball from the bowler. Mm -hmm. Gilchrist is playing his shots as he always does from ball one. But you can just feel the tension out in the middle. And very close to the rope. Was it a wet ball or just nerves? I think it's the latter. That was nerves, no doubt about that. It's 
So we need two slips in place for Gilchrist at the moment. There's a little bit of swing there, a little bit of movement away from the left-handers. Two men on point, a slashing square cut. The man down at deep third man. And there's a big healthy edge. Flies away through about fifth slip area. Well, there's certainly some swing there. Well, he's been very reluctant through the tournament, Ganguly, to keep a gully when his bowlers are bowling with the hard new ball. And I think if at all, he has to place a gully, it's today. He's won the toss, fielded first, there is some movement. Definitely some movement. The bounce has always been there at the Wanderers. May not have gone to gully. It's a lot finer, but uh, he's placed a gully now as we speak. And it's not wide. It's exactly where the ball went, the last ball. And I think it's uh, Mohamed Kev that's uh, been put in at, well, it's fourth slip, really. It's not gully. It's quite an unusual position, that. Mohamed Kev's gone into about a third slip, and he's now just being pushed up. And just in front of the man at second slip. Oh, and that's a loose shot from Hayden. But we've seen nerves from Javagal Srinath down at fine leg. And this is a nervous start from Hayden. It's a very poor shot. Nothing in it at all. You can see the very tentative uh, throwing of the bat at the line of the ball. Absolutely nothing short. And some movement, definitely some movement off the deck. Every time the ball has hit the seam, it's darted around. Zahir Khan just letting him know that he probably missed that by 10 centimetres. Matthew Hayden. Much, much better. <laughs> Mark, what was that now? Was it nerves or, again, wet outfield? <laughs> well, to be fair to the players, there's been quite a bit of overnight rain. It is a little bit slippery on the surface, but just watch him hair in here. There's no run. Races in trying to save the single. The call of no straight away from Hayden. There was never a chance of a run. The fieldsman's racing in. Both sides are very nervous. The, I'm sure bowlers, batsmen and fieldsmen alike are just looking forward to getting through this first half hour. Oh, and that is four wides. That should be five wides. And I think that may have been an attempted at in-swinger. Zahir Khan. He got it all wrong. The wicket keeper not really making any attempt at all. He just made no effort to go in the direction of the ball. Stayed where he was. You can see they're not even in the picture, Dravid. But that was wide. And even had he gone in the direction, made an effort, may not have stopped those runs. It's the big finals, and I think it will take some time for the nerves to calm. I think more so for the Indians. We've been there in the World Cup final after 20 years. There in 1983. Oh, lovely shot. Very confident start from Matthew Hayden. The first ball he played at was a loose shot. Nothing wrong with this off drive. A lot of confidence in this shot. Well, I think it's the result of that last wide. There was hardly any pace in that one just a release and that's a good strong push quite a bit of bottom hand as well and played it straight it's been a long over and Matthew Hayden will certainly feel a lot more assured after that last shot that's down the leg side as well that's brilliantly taken from Rahul Dravid this can be the danger sometimes when you win the toss and bubbles. He really feels there is some movement out there. But his bowlers have to get it in the right spot. Yes, and maybe at the cost of speed as well. Zahir Khan was very much in the 140s, but the line wasn't good enough. They could sacrifice speed and get the line right. There is just that spongy bounce at the moment. The batsman is not on top of the ball. Very likely that the ball will carry to slips nicely, comfortably, at comfortable height. It's important for the length to get fuller and the line, of course, spot on. Oh, 
Now, this looks cool and quite unusual. Three slips we talked about. The man who's at third slip is almost back in line with the man at second. I'm not so sure that's the right spot to be. The man on the far left of your screen I'm talking about is almost on the same line as the second slip man. He should be a, more up about a metre or two at least. He's probably there for the slash. But what you don't want is those two men closest to camera getting each other's road if a catch is to come in that area. Well, if you find his position unusual, you should watch his stance. It's even more unusual. Now, he's a new member in the slip cordon for India, Mohammed Kaif. And we concentrated a lot on him in the last match. May not be fair to, again, <laughs> get him in the spotlight, but he's got a very unusual stance for a slip fielder. Virendra Sehwag has normally been one of the slip fielders for India, but he's hurt his finger but hasn't recovered. I'm, I'm not sure whether that's the case or they've just forgotten about Sehwag. But Kev is very much a cover fielder, brilliant at point. The slip cordon for India today, Dinesh Mongia, Ganguly at second, and Mohamed Kev at third. Well, that's a wide. It's the first one that Srinath hasn't got on the right spot. It can be difficult with these wide balls. If there is some swing around, they do tend to swing quite a bit when they're brand new. And I think you're right. That's about line and length. Zahir Khan. And both batsmen now have played some lovely off drives, one each for a boundary. And, uh, Matthew Hayden, and I mentioned that I came down to training a couple of days ago just to watch the Australians. He spent an enormous amount of time in the nets. He hasn't been overly happy with his form in recent times. He really wants to do it well here. He's had a wonderful oh, probably two years for Australia. This World Cup Hasn't been a bad one for him by any means, but just hasn't been as successful as he would like. Yes, he had, yes, he had John Buchanan throwing him lots of balls in the nets two days ago, and yesterday he came down to the ground 